Okay, hi y'all. So I filmed a video. I just took a shower, so I don't have makeup on, but I filmed my Libra inspired video and I talked way too damn long. So it's taking me way too damn long to edit that freaking video. Um, I took a shower literally to like take a freaking break and I'm so hungry so I need to go get food and it's just taking me way too long to edit it so I am going to shoot um this like impromptu um video for like my makeup collection basically because I don't know if I've mentioned it in every single video if you're new here hi uh I'm moving in like 10 days so I decided that, you know, well, I've moved a bunch of times and I just know, like, you got to clean your shit out before you move. You do not need to be taking all that stuff with you. This is the perfect time to declutter. I am so hungry. Um, hold on. I'm also pregnant, so this might be throw up. <sighs> anyway, um, <laughs> So, I cleaned out a ton of my makeup, a ton of it, a ton of expired makeup, a ton of not cruelty-free makeup because I'm trying to be, like, cruelty-free from here on out for everything I purchase. So, yeah, so I'm going to do just, like, a super quick tour and then, um, not, like, a tour, really, but just, like, what I kept, basically, like, what I kept after the declutter. And um, once we move, like, the first thing we're going to do is set up the master bedroom and bathroom, and that is where my new vanity is going to be with a new filming setup so then when i give the tour of that new setup i'll already have this collection linked because i'm not going to buy any more makeup until that is complete so yeah this is the what i kept after my declutter makeup collection video so this is probably my messiest drawer this is like glitters and pigments. Um, so I have some lashes stowed back here. Eyeliners, these are all Wet n Wild, like the dollar eyeliners. They're probably my favorite eyeliners to get because they are so inexpensive. And they have a lot of different like black and brown and all of that. I have like these down here. I have these, which you haven't seen me use yet. These are the Wet n Wild like liquid eyeshadows I love. Um, I kept a lot of glitters, these two glitter palettes, and then I have a bunch of, I kept these color tattoos. I haven't found anything to replace these. I think, I think CoverGirl has something similar, but I'll just keep looking around. I have these like random, um, unique pigments. I didn't get rid of a lot of my pigments, be pigments because I did want to keep them for when like Halloween and stuff came around, but I'm not going to like keep purchasing like the L'Oreal tattoos and stuff like that. So over here, this is like brows and stuff. I have the e.l.f. brow gel and the Wet n Wild and e.l.f. brow pencils. It's an old thingy. I have, I do have the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise, but I won't be repurchasing it and I didn't get rid of it. I also have the, actually I could get rid of this. I literally never reach for this. Bye. And then I have some Wet n Wild and e.l.f. The eyes right from um, Lush, my favorite mascara of all time, the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl, which is now cruelty free. And then this, I'm just gonna use this up and not repurchase it. Um, I don't think that the Kiss Lash Glue is cruelty free. I will have to find something that is whenever that runs out. And then I just have a bunch of NYX eyeliners, Wet n Wild eyeliners. This is a black lash glue. Again, I'm going to have to find stuff that's cruelty free. I just haven't found anything yet. Uh, but other than that, it's NYX, Wet n Wild, and some e.l.f. eyeliners in there. Random lip balm. And then in here, it's all NYX, Milani, and I think I have one Wet n Wild, yeah, one Wet n Wild lip liner in there. So... That's probably my messiest drawer that's going to get situated later. Here's my eyeshadow drawer. I got rid of a ton of um, eyeshadows, like eyeshadow palettes. So I got rid of some Morphe stuff. They were just really old. I still have my NYX singles. I have, this is the Brow Spectrum from Zoeva. Um... I don't know if so it was cruelty free. I honestly forgot I had this because I haven't been reaching for it very often um, lately here, but that's all right. Of course, I kept my Milani palettes. I freaking love these things. 
I have a Wet n Wild palette. I have these newer palettes that I talked about in my last vlog, the Pro Fusion palettes. Love these. Of course, I have NYX. Um, another palette that's the Avant Pop palette and the Swear By It palette, which I have been using. I ha have kept the Smashbox, um, what is this called? Like the Cover Shop palette, but I do think that the Milani Soft and Sultry is a really good dupe for it. So if you're looking for a dupe for this, I would go with the Milani Soft and Sultry palette for sure. Bare Minerals, I've ha I honestly don't ever use these. I bought these like when I was in high school because, you know, I just like them. They're really pretty. This was a holiday collection and this was the first high-end eyeshadow palette I ever bought was this little guy. Sorry, the lighting's not too good. Was this little naturals guy. The Earth Elements. Yeah, it was like the Elements palette. Um, I keep these most, mostly for sentimental value. I have the Too Faced Just Peachy palette. I have... Stila. I did a whole video on um, this palette, so I will link that. Elf, of course, Cruelty Free. This is a brow palette. I did do videos on, I believe, both of these, the Rose Gold and the Mad for Matte um, Summer Breeze, so I will link those as well. Any of these things, I w if I have videos including them or talking about them specifically, I will just automatically have that link down below. Um, this guy, these guys as well, I think I have. So the Revolution palette, oh my gosh, I bought this with the intention of doing like a dedicated video about it, and then I totally just lost track of time, but I did plan on doing a three looks, one palette video with this. So keep a lookout for that. Um, definitely once we move and I have my whole new setup, the videos will be coming. So I'm trying my super, super hardest to stay consistent, even if I don't post exactly, like obviously I didn't want to be posting a declutter or like collection video today, but I did want to post today and just kind of keep y'all updated. Um, the Zodiacs are coming, and if y'all want to see a three looks, one palette with this, that's coming. Videos with these are coming, so... It's all coming as fast as I can possibly get that shit filmed. So, on to this guy. So, this is highlighters. Um, actually, two. You can tell I like to be glowy. I have two sections of highlighters. Bronzers here and blushes right here. I'm just going to breeze through. I have some of the Elf bake hi Baked Highlighters, an Essence uh, Highlighter, a Revolution Strobe Highlighter, the really old hard candy highlighter that I think is in a trio now. Um, the Milani Highlights. I haven't got any more than the original like uh, things they came out with, but they have expanded the shade range. I have every single shade and some extras of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow um, highlighting powders because they're freaking amazing. I have Feeling Younger from Lush. I have the e.l.f. Power Glow Highlighter. I love mixing this in, especially when I'm tan. I mix it in with foundations. Um, Clinique is the only thing I have kept. I'm pretty sure that is not cruelty free. I'm just going to use this guy up and then not repurchase because I already have like a dupe of this, um, which I'll get to later. I have... These highlighters from Wet n Wild were limited editions, but just letting you know, and I have two of the Mega Glow highlighters, an e.l.f. highlighting stick, and a um, highlight stick from Wet n Wild that I really, really love, and I'm pretty sure I have some uh, videos about those. Of course, I will link that. I have the Stila Kitten highlight, one of the new loose highlights from Wet n Wild, um, some of the other bigger highlights, the pinky one and the gold one from... Uh, Wet n Wild, I have this e.l.f. Ooh. This e.l.f. duo, I love them. This trio um, from Milani, the Strobe Genius, love this, and the um, Revolution Makeup London Blush and Highlight Palette, love this guy. Very good. I don't think I, I don't remember if I mentioned him in a video. I'll have to find out. I do really like that palette quite a bit. So here, this is a mix of powder and cream um, stuff because I just don't, I just have it all in one place. So for like cream contours, I have the e.l.f. contouring and blush palette, love this guy. I have a cream contouring quad, 
from them as well. I have the Wet n Wild Contour, one of their shades. Oh my gosh, this lighting is so bad. I'm really sorry. And then I have the Wet n Wild Cushion Highlights right there. So that is very cool, very cool. And then I have a super old Mega Glow Wet n Wild Contour. Uh, palette. I have an e.l.f. quad, probably the lightest shade. I have um, the Ticket to Brazil newer bronzer from Wet n Wild, Physicians Formula Classic, Milani Baked Bronzer Classic, and then two of the uh, Primer Infused Bronzers from e.l.f., which I really love, and I definitely have a video using those. So back here are some of my cream highlights, or no, my cream blushes. I have this little tiny one from e.l.f., which is amazing. It's like a cream to powder. Really love it. Two shades of the Wet n Wild blushes, cream blushes. Um, this guy, the Burt's Bees one, is new to me. I mentioned it in a vlog. I have used it since then, and I freaking love it. And then I have a cream blush quad from e.l.f. and a powder one. Really like these. I have used quite a bit of this stuff in other videos, so if you want to see it in action, definitely check below. NYX Cream Blush, the Burt's Bees Powder Blush. Um, I have this super old, again, I don't, I think this is available in a quad. It's from Hard Candy, or not a quad, it's like a highlighting trio. It's just a really pinky guy. NYX Ombre Blush, not super impressed with these, but I kept it for Halloween looks, because um, it's. I have a super bright orange shade. The NYX, or no, this is the NYC Mosaic Color Wheel. Oh, boo. NYC is uh, not cruelty free. I bought this like years ago, I feel. NYC actually isn't cruelty free, come to find out, so don't get that guy. Um, a Milani blush, some of the e.l.f. primer infused blushes. Love those guys. Some more e.l.f. blushes here. I have a few of the different um, like formulas of e.l.f. blushes. More elf blushes here, and then Wet n Wild blushes right here, and then my Milani, all those shades that I have are right there. Boom. Okay, so this is primers, priming sprays, setting spray, foundation, concealer, and powders. Um, I really did actually narrow this down quite a bit. Um, down, like really, really, really narrowed it down, except for my powders, because I don't have a, a lot of them anyway. Um, I just wanted to keep what I have until I could test some more and find some stuff that I like. So, the two things that I have that are matte are the number seven Beautifully Matte Makeup Base, and I accidentally bought an e.l.f. Matte Magic Setting Spray. Um, I occasionally use those. But whatever, I'll just keep them. Milani Prime Light right here. Love this guy. Two of the Catrice Serum. And this is the one I was talking about that's a dupe for that Clinique um, lotion thingy. This is the Light Correcting Serum Primer in the shade Sunlight. I love these. I use this when I'm more tan. Um, I have the Make It Last and Make It Dewy Spray from... Milani. I have a gigantic makeup mist and set from e.l.f. I also have an illuminating mist and set from e.l.f. Um, my illuminating primer from e.l.f. Dewy setting spray from e.l.f. I love them. Um, if you've been watching anything recently, you know I've been loving the Prep and Hydrate Balm and the e.l.f. Um, it's like the something glotion. It's like um, duochrome glotion or something like that. Love that guy. I love the Hydrating um, Hydra Touch Oil Primer, the Organic Wear from Physicians Formula. I won't repurchase this, but I'm going to use this up. I just like this, the Hydra Touch way more. So, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This actually isn't the Master Fix from um, Maybelline. I just used this bottle because I, it was empty, and I had an e.l.f. setting spray that I hated the sprayer of, so I just put it in this bottle. So this is actually an e.l.f. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of the e.l.f. setting sprays or primer sprays. Um, Wet n Wild Hydrating Balm Stick, the Honey Do Me Up from NYX. I've repurchased this multiple times. I love it. Um, the, Prime and F the Prime and Fine multitasking one. I still haven't got my hands on the dewy one. I have a backup of this somewhere else too. And then the Wet n Wild setting spray, always a good one. I want to get the cucumber one. Ugh, so good. And I want to get the um, cucumber water drop primer, but that's for a different day. Um, <laughs> 
I have the NYX Highlight and Contour thingy. I use this mostly for like Halloween looks or like avant looks that I'm not going to wear out. Um, Milani and the Revolution concealers. That's the only ones I kept. Um, Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. I do like this. I was going to do foundation shit foundation videos for both of these the Catrice um, HD liquid and the revolution stick so let me know if you actually want to see those I have the elf mix to match white foundation adjuster a number seven foundation Milani conceal and perfect the NYX total control which I have the totally wrong shade of which I think is why I hate it so much and the healthy foundation from Physician Formula. I have this one from Wet n Wild. I haven't reached it, reached for it in a long time, but it's my perfect color match when I'm pale, so I keep it as a color reference. Um, Wet n Wild, of course, this is the Reserve Your Cabana that I use as face powder. I have a backup, Milani Press, uh, the transparent face powder. I also like the colored one. Bare Minerals Loose Powder, and then these. Maybelline is obviously not cruelty-free, but I don't have a lot of face powders, so I decided to keep these until I can find other stuff that I like. So, that is what I kept. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. If you want to see any videos with some of the makeup that I mentioned specifically or showed you in this video, just let me know down below. I will definitely be doing that. And keep your eye out for the Libra-inspired makeup tutorial on Thursday. That is coming, and then a vlog on Sunday. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye!